Yes guys, welcome back to another Vintage Wholesale unboxing video. Today I'm back with Sire Vintage, more college branded hoodies. I've ordered, why am I stuttering? I've ordered more than ever before today. 74 hoodies, £6.11 per piece, all in, which is a very good price. Watch this video, I guarantee you they'll be very good. Like, I always make a lot of profit from them. Um, so yeah, £454 all in, I'm pretty sure, which is a very good price for 74 um, hoodies. So hopefully there's 74 in here. Hopefully we don't get as many thermal ones because I do get a lot of thermal ones. If you don't know what thermal ones are, oh, obviously this is a good piece, it's a package piece, but thermal ones is like polyester, like stretchy kind of gin, sporty material. Um, and they never sell too well, not for me anyway. They normally sell for about 12 to 18 pound. This one is an 18 pound piece, but um, yeah, we want thick cotton ones, especially because it's coming up to the winter. I'm getting prepped for the winter. So hopefully we can get some really nice embroidered pieces what the dog doing just a quick reminder as well if you are new to the channel please subscribe it's free just press the subscribe button below this video subscribe it'll help me out i'm trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year i want to keep doing these videos for you so any support is much appreciated thank you so much let me get the scissors they're down here okay well it looks like it's going to be a good start because i've just opened it and i don't know if you can see but i can see an embroidered gray piece on top and i've just looked under that like a few down there's a Georgia Tech embroidered piece and there's also a baby blue Nike embroidered piece. This looks like it's going to be a champion piece. Is it going to be a champion piece? Let's check the tag first, if I can put it the right way. It is a champion piece and it's a free XL. It's absolutely huge. SLCC, it's in good condition. Nice, it's huge. I don't like dark grey, I only like light grey. Yeah, so we've got a Nike thermal one. I do really like this colour. It's an XL so it doesn't really help. Um, so yeah, on the back, Texas. I don't know what team that is but um, I, I like it, it's good. Okay, this night piece is really nice. I did want the print to be embroidered instead, but um, it's, it's nice, it's a really good piece. Liberty Football, great print, print's in great condition. The hoodie's in great condition. Embroidered centre swoosh there. It's an XL, so it is quite big. I'm looking for mediums to larges really, they sell best, and smalls as well. But um, it's, a, it's a great, it's a great hoodie. Okay, next up we have this zip up. Zip ups don't do the best for me, but this one's really nice. It's embroidered, Georgia Tech yellow jackets. Had a few pieces in the past um, of Georgia Tech yellow jackets, of sweatshirts, not hoodies. Um, but it's a champion piece. It's vintage. It's on a really vintage champion tag, I think. So it's a great piece. Does the zip work? It does. Examples of thermal ones we don't really want. Adidas. It's an alright print. Divine Child Falcons Hockey. Okay, we've got an unbranded one. I thought this was champion. It's like a reverse weave material. Old Dominion University. It's printed. Print is cracked. I'll move that up close for you to see. Don't know if you can tell, but it's quite cracked. Nothing major though. Um, and it'll still get me some good money. Okay, next up we have this one. It's a really nice one. It's like a 50-50 blend of cotton and polyester, so it's it's quite thin and stretchy, but it's not it's not like a proper thermal one. Okay, next up, not really a branded one, it's jerseys. Uh, it's a medium. Liberty University, similar to the one we got before. Okay, next up we have the Steelers piece. Nice, good money. It's really big, it's like a 2XL, but I mean, it's a great piece. This will get me 30. Should get me 30, if not 25, but it, it'll get me 30. Okay, white ones always do well, especially when it's Nike. So yeah, oh, Ducks, I don't know what team that is. I'm guessing it's like an ice hockey team, but it's a really nice piece, like really nice. I can't tell if there's marks on it or not. My eyes are weird from a ring light. But there is yellowing around the hood, but that's natural with all white hoodies, basically. Um, it comes out very easily as well with some stain remover. It is on an early 2000s Nike tag, the silver tag. Next up, another champion hoodie, Harvard University. Burgundy, really nice. Harvard, they always do burgundy pieces. We've got this Nike Lacrosse Republic one. It's a 50-50 blend of cotton and polyester once again. It's quite thin, stretchy, but it's a good piece. I like it. Okay, these are looking very good. They're looking much better than usual. We've not had a ton of polyester ones as well, which is great. We've got this, it's a cotton one, it's a quarter zip, embroidered, it's on a Nike team tag. If you guys don't know what the Nike team tag is, it's just this one where it's grey with like a red square rectangle in the middle. And that is from the 90s. That of this, oh. look at that, it's embroidered. That is amazing, I love that piece. The embroidery on that, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pitts, Pittsburgh. How do you say that? It is Nike, obviously because of a Nike swoosh. But the tag is ripped off, but it's on a modern tag, you can tell. Next up, we've got another thin modern Nike one, Brewers Baseball. It's decent. It's a big one, once again. Can we get... Well, I don't think we've had any mediums or smalls. They've all been, like, massive. 
So yeah, it's a, it's a good piece though, I like it. Okay, next up we've got a thermal one, O Ducks football, similar to that piece we got before, so now I know it's a football team. I'm pretty sure that O, it's got to be Oregon. Like, that's the only state that begins with an O in America. Oregon is basically top left of America, it's just below Washington and above California, so it's a good piece. I really like that print as well, like the detailing on it. The detailing on that print is very nice, so good. Another thermal one, Clovis Cougars Athletics. It's a Nike piece, the tag is ripped out. Why are the tags on so many of these ripped out? It's annoying. Like, people do that and I don't get it. Next up, we've got this really nice champion Penn State University one. I like it. I'm not too keen on the colour. Grey, I always mention it. I'm, I need to stop mentioning it because it's just my opinion. You guys might like it. But um, Penn State University, really nice. My friends just actually flew out there to go to university from Manchester, so she doesn't watch my videos because she hates me, but good luck. Okay, next up we have this massive champion one. It's a reverse weave. It's a vintage one. It's on a vintage champion tag. Premium reverse weave. Uh, Kellum Soccer Knights. Really good quality. I love reverse weaves. Like, it's so heavy. Um, but it's really like comfy. All right, I hate Under Armour, but I'll have to admit this is a nice thermal piece. The print on that's nice. It's printed with the embroidered centralized logo. There you go, it's a good piece. Virginia Lacrosse, it's embroidered. Well, the Virginia Lacrosse bit is printed, but the rest, the swoosh and the V logo with the swords is embroidered. Okay, next up we have another champion piece. I like the print on this, Wellesley Raiders Basketball, Raider Basketball. I'm guessing that's a high school team. Okay, next up is the nicest champion piece I think I've ever seen. It's embroidered. It's not a college one, but Cam Campion. I'm pretty sure that's Spanish. And then it says champion below it. Now the white champion thing is embroidered and the other green bit is printed. And it's a reverse weave as well. And it's on a modern tag. It's definitely authentic. Okay, next up we have a starter one. Now I used to hate starter, but my recent starter pieces have been amazing. And this one... Is, is amazing as well, embroidered Connecticut. Now I thought it would just be a state one, but it has got this, so I'm guessing it's a college university sports team. It's like a dog, don't know what team it is though. And then it's got the embroidered starter logo down on the sleeve there, but that is a really nice piece. Once again, 30 pound, could push for that definitely. Next up, another champion piece, just a basic one, Georgetown printed. It's nice, I like it, plain, simple, cool. Next up, we've got our first smaller size. We, I don't think we've had a single medium or small, Pretty sure this is a small. Um, Brandon Blackhawks, it's embroidered. I really like it. Slight bobbling, well, quite a lot of bobbling, but I'll get that off. And champion logo on the sleeve there. The only problem was, where was it? There was a few like really light black marks there, which I don't think will come out, but they're tiny, so it's not gonna be anything uh, major. Okay, next up we've got this 90s Nike embroidered zip up. It's on an MLB Nike team tag. So Brewers, it's got an M down there. I don't know what team that is. Obviously it's a baseball team. Minnesota, Michigan. I don't know, but it's a nice piece, I like it. It's an extra large, but it's, a, it's an extra large youth, definitely. But it's a great piece. Next up, another champion piece. I'm not too keen on this, I will be honest. HCC, it's just plain and basic, but I do like the sleeve print. It's got the champion logo with champion spell out down the sleeve, which you don't normally see with champion college or destination pieces, which is kind of cool. Okay, next up is another Virginia piece, very similar to that Brewers one we just got. Like, it's a similar style. See how it's got the striped at the bottom and on the cuffs? It's embroidered, I like it, it's a good piece. Once again, it's a youth size, it's a youth large. No, it's not, it's a women's large, sorry. Next up, a really nice champion embroidered one. Champion embroidered ones, love them so much. Carolina Gamecocks, that's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, it's a nice piece, I like it. It's a good size as well, it's a medium. Next up, this university always do great pieces. Oklahoma University, embroidered centralized Nike swoosh at the bottom on the pocket. It's on a Nike team tag as well, it's printed on, but it's from the 90s. So yeah, it's still a great piece, great size as well. That's like a smaller medium. So it's a, it's a really nice piece, I like that. And that'll get me good money once again. Great profit on these, like, we're doing great. And we've still got another box to open and there's still about 10 more in there. So it's going very well. All right, this is not nice at all. It's, it's not good. I'll, I'll show you a close up in a minute. But to be fair, the condition of all of these have been really good. And this is my first bad one out of a lot, including the thermal ones. Now, this looks like the stuff you put underneath your carpet. Underlay, that's what it's called. Okay, I thought this was a champion piece, but it's actually a Reebok piece, New England Patriots. It's cool. Not sure about that man in the middle, he looks a bit dodgy. Next up we have this Jordan one. I never get Jordan ones. Um, I know nothing about the NBA or basketball, really. Like, I know a few teams, but I'm really bad at basketball as well. It says Nerf. It's an XXL as well, 2XL, so it's huge, and it probably fits bigger than that. It's not, it's not good, it's a stinker. I like this colour. Once again, another colour that has grown on me over time. Green, like a dark swampy green 
reminds me of Shrek. Wagner, Wagner College. I would hate to go to a college which is called Wagner. It's just a, it's a weird. It's just weird. University of uh, Northwestern Eagles, St. Paul. Can't read. I apologise. It's um, on an MV Sport tag. So it's, it's, cool. it's a cool tag as well. Like that. that looks really old. It says Pro Weave. For those that know MV Sport, I've never seen that tag before. So um, I'll do some research on it. Or if you know anything about it. Let me know. We've got this black Nike hoodie, which is really nice. It's printed, it's slightly cracked, but it's still nice. It's not it's not out there in your face. It's just like a basic black Nike hoodie. I like it. Providence basketball, I'm guessing that's like an NBA team. Providence is in Rhode Island, which is like one of the smallest states um, in America, along with Delaware and Connecticut. But yeah, it's a really nice, it's a really nice hoodie. It does have a few very light white marks on. I'm not sure if that's iron marks or if it's just dust, but it does need a wash. Okay, one of the best embroidered pieces we've got so far. Minnesota Golden Gophers, a University of Minnesota. It's a really nice piece, like that embroidery is really good quality. It's unbranded as well, like the tag, what, what is that? Like it says, it says cadre. We've got a really nice Nike piece. It's like a washed out gray, black color, um, embroidered center swoosh, WLC football. I like the print, it's in great condition. It's big, I like it. Nice hoodie, modern Nike tag, great hoodie. Good profit. And we are into our last one of the first box. We're moving on to this box like in a second. So don't go anywhere. Stay here. What is this? Okay, so this one is, is it's not the best, but it's kind of cool. So it's a full zip up. It's MLS. So I'm not sure what team that is. Oh, there's no more in this box. We are done. Oh. I don't know how many hoodies were in that box we just unboxed, but this one feels so much heavier. So it's going to be like an extra five or ten, I think. Scissors. Thanks for asking how I'm doing. I, I'm okay. Okay, next up, another college that I really like, Clemson. Cle is that Clemson University? I'm guessing it is. Clemson Tigers. I always get sweatshirts in bales of these. And they always go dead well. They're really nice. It's a Nike piece. You should have, yeah, the Nike logo on the sleeve down there. And if I can remember correctly by these, it's on a red tag. So yeah, which I don't know the date specifically, but I'm pretty sure it's like between 2005 and 10. Like it's between the silver Nike tag and the modern black Nike tag. I was just about to say we've not had many NFL pieces at all. And we've just pulled out a New England Patriots one. Cool. Conference champions, don't know what year's that from. Years that from. Mm -hmm. Next up, not too keen on this. Small logos just aren't the best. We need big logos in the middle. C2C lacrosse. It is embroidered. It's a champion piece. And it will still sell for good money. We'll make profit on it. Okay, next up, champion one. Our smallest one so far. Portland State. Now, I'm not sure which Portland this is because there's one in Oregon and there's one in Maine. There's probably a few others, but um, I'm guessing it's from Oregon. Now, the only problem is no drawstrings, but it's a great colour and it will still sell. Um, just obviously not for much because of the drawstrings. Next up, we have another thermal one. Manco's embroidered uh, Nike swoosh there. It's a bit of a weird one, but it's still nice. It says it's a medium, but definitely fits a bit bigger than that. Another thermal one, but once again, this is nice. University of Chicago basketball is a good colour. Okay, we've got another NFL one, another thermal one, and this one's one of the nicest ones we've got so far. Arizona Cardinals, it's printed, prints in great condition. Big size once again, it's like an XL, 2XL. Um, but it's a good piece, I really like that. I love Arizona Cardinals' logo, of like the bird. It's really nice. Since I said we didn't get many NFL pieces, we've got loads. And here's another banging NFL piece. Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks, it says 90, Eaton, but that'll just be a player in his number. Um, it's on a weird NFL tag, it's, it's for red NFL tag, but it also has, sorry, it also has um, like another logo, another company's logo, saying players, INC, Players Incorporated, I don't know. Next up, another champion piece, Cornell University. Had a few pieces in the past which haven't been the best, but this is a nice piece. Next up, another NFL piece, it's a zip up, Washington Redskins. It isn't in the best condition, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you can tell, but the logo is slightly cracked. Nike logo there, which is embroidered. NFL logo here. And then it has Redskins down here, which is, is, is slightly peeling. Okay, so I did say I didn't like Under Armour pieces, but this one's very nice. It's very nice. Wolves. Northern Wolves. Nice. Please be Kansas. Oh, it's Kansas. I love Kansas pieces. Why are they so good? There's a ghost in my room. Something just fell. Nice. Kansas Jayhawks. I love the Kansas logo too. It's nice. That's a really nice um, hoodie. Slightly cracked, but nothing major. I've got another really nice embroidered piece. It's Adidas. There's no drawstrings, but there's no holes for any anyway, so there's none there originally. Um, Marshall? I, I don't I don't know. 
what sports team that is. Marshall University is that a place, probably. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice hoodie. Look at that. Cool. Really nice piece. Next up, we have a really nice um, Washington Capitals Reebok piece. I'm pretty sure that's ice hockey. Let me check the tag. One second. Yes, NHL Reebok face-off. Reebok do a lot of NHL pieces, pretty much all of them, to be fair. Um, it's embroidered. It's quite thin. It is quite thin. Um, but it's a good piece. Oversized once again, but I really like it. Okay, we've got another soccer football piece, Red Bull, New York. Cool. It's all right. It's full zip-up. You know what? I, lo I love football. It's, it's my favourite sport, but the pieces, football pieces aren't the best. Um, especially the ones I get in these boxes. They're never really good. Okay, a bit of a slightly different one here. It's MV Sport once again, and it's on that same tag we got before, which looks like it's from the 90s, but I really don't know. Um, I love the stripes. Reminds me of Ralph Lauren, like classic Ralph Lauren pieces, like the polo shirts. Oh yes, it's, it's another ice hockey one. I love the ice hockey pieces. It's on the Reebok face-off collection tag, NHL tag once again, similar to that piece we got literally a few seconds ago. Um, embroidered, don't know what team that is. It's the same colours as Notre Dame, one sec. I'll show you guys. Like, I don't know if it's, it's not gonna be the same college, is it? But it's, it's that same colourway, which is cool. I've not sold this, by the way. It's up for 28, um, but yeah. I really like this. I love ice hockey pieces. Next up, another champion piece. I don't normally get too many Ohio pieces. University of Cincinnati, which is in Ohio. I like it. Grey hoodies always do well. I've probably said that a million times, but yeah. Print in great condition once again. Really nice hoodie. This next piece is quite different. It's quite cool as well. Bowling. 2011 Bowling Championships. April 14th to 16th in Michigan. It's kind of cool. I like the print. Like, I don't know if I've told you before, but I love detailed prints like that when the print's just detailed it has a date on it has a place it has lots of different you know information and colors it's really cool okay this next piece is crazy and it's super heavy and it's probably the reason why this box was so heavy it's a new york jets embroidered zip up it's fleece lined like it's really thick like super thick um i'll show you as you can tell on the inside it's fleece so that's super heavy but that's a really nice piece it's a good size as well it's like a medium to large move that close for you to see it's really nice and in the hood fleece great piece for that it's a really nice piece i think that'll do well on ebay now I'm, I'm being deadly serious we've not had many bad ones we've had about two or three ones which aren't the best but the condition on these have been they've been really good and as soon as i say that we get one which isn't in the best condition first of all the print's really cracked surely you can see that big stain on the pocket there's a big like dark stain but uh, there you go urban urbana uh, urbana university I can't speak. The next two pieces look very good. This one I pulled out being one of them. Let me just... Yeah, that's a that's a nice piece. That is a very nice piece. Baltimore Ravens. It's embroidered. The big Ravens logo is embroidered. And there's a print behind it which is faded. But I think it might naturally be like that. Big embroidered NFL badge there. Which is very nice. Kind of distressed. I'll just leave it how it is instead of cutting the excess off. Pockets are distressed as well. Nice. I like the drawstrings as well. They're white instead of purple. That's nice. Really nice hoodie. Good. And this next piece, I'm sure you can guess, it's another Clemson one. Nice. Big embroidery. Purple embroidery. It's a good piece. There is a mark on the pocket there, but I, I don't know if it's going to come out, but I'm hoping it comes out. What brand is that? That's got to be Champion. Yeah, it's Champion. But yeah, it's a really nice hoodie. It needs washing. Get that mark out. Next up, Roger Williams, University Hawks. It's not it's not the best one we've got. It's champion one. It's faded a little bit. It's cracked a little bit. The colour's not the best. But we'll still sell it. It's an XL. It's not it's not the best, but... We've got another ice hockey one. I don't know what team that is. I really don't know my ice hockey teams in America. All I know is the Boston Bruins and, like, Anaheim Ducks. I'm not too keen on the colour, to be fair. And there are bleach marks down here, which is a shame. But it, they are bleach marks, so... I won't be able to do anything about that. I could bleach dye it, potentially, but I don't want to risk ruining it. I want to collect ice hockey pieces, you know. I don't, I don't know why. But yeah, it's on the same tag as before. Reebok face-off collection, NHL. This is on a proper vintage champion tag. Love that embroidery as well. Champion. I'll show you the tag as well. Pretty sure that's got to be, like, really old. Surely. Champion quality approved. Cool. Size medium. Caught a zip. Not too keen on quarter zips, but this is really nice. It's a proper like vintage piece and it will go really well on my page. Okay, this next one's really small. Indiana University, it's a large youth. So that's like an extra, extra small. It's still a nice piece. I just, the size, like it's, it's gonna be difficult to get rid of, but 
I'll still sell it. Oh, oh, these little over there. Next up, back to the embroidered champion pieces. Wake Forest University. I love it. White and gold embroidery. Really nice piece. Okay, so I've never heard of this before. A Stars. Now that's the actual brand because it says on the tag Alpine Stars. It's got the exact same tag as it is embroidered and it's, it's kind of nice. I like it. You know what? We've not had any Nike pieces in a while. Okay, next up another MV Sport one. Paloma College. It's cool. I like it. It's quite thin, but it's nice. UWGB, Green Bay. I have no idea. If I could guess, University of Wisconsin, Green Bay, maybe. I don't know. It's brown. It's a really dark brown and the embroidery doesn't go with the brown. But I mean, it's still brown and brown goes well. We've got another NHL ice hockey one. For those who don't know what NHL is, I'm sure you all do, but it's National Hockey League. Embroidered Edmonton Oilers. Cool. It's on a charity shop tag, Goodwill, which is like the main... So that's the main charity, like thrift shop in America. And guess what price it's up, up for? It's, it's $25, which is like 19, 20 pound in a charity shop. Like that's, that's mad. We've got like six left. I don't want this to end. I say this every video. I just don't want them to end because I love doing this. Belmont University, champion embroidered, dark purple embroidery. It's nice. It's tiny, but it's nice. I want to finish with a few embroidered ones, but um, for now, Winona State, Adidas. I thought it was champion. It's like a really heavy kind of reverse weave material. Um, it's nice. Not too keen on the print. Okay, we did get an embroidered piece. It's a full zip up, but I still like it. Boston, Massachusetts, my favorite city in the world. Okay, another embroidered champion piece, Carroll University. I love orange embroidery, goes well with navy. I always say orange embroidery is always nice. Uh, it's tiny, it's on a bit of a weird champion tag. It is authentic, but it's a weird tag. I'll show you guys anyway. It's like a old eco fleece tag, so it's like, I mean, that's got to be before 2010, I'm guessing. Okay, next up we have this, Alaska, champion piece. Alaska is a massive state up next to Canada. It's like not even connected to America, but it's huge and it's snowy. You guys probably all know anyway. But yeah, it's cool. This is small. It has this down the side. I'm guessing that's like the flag of Alaska, uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a cool hoodie. Why do I stutter so much? Oh, honestly, my, I, never mind. I'm pretty sure we just got a Son Sonoma piece. Son Sonoma State. University. I can't say that word. It's a dark grey, so it's not the best, but um, it's still a good hoodie. And that is it. We are done for the unboxing. Now, I think that was the best unboxing I've ever done. Not because we didn't get too many standout pieces, but in terms of consistency of good to great pieces, I don't think we got one bad piece apart from that one which looks like grandma's carpet, but yeah, that's a great unboxing. So many embroidered pieces, a variety of brands as well. It's normally just champion, but we got so many Nike pieces. We got some Under Armour pieces, NFL, NHL. Very good unboxing. I put like a revenue counter down here, I mentioned it earlier in the video, I don't know what it's going to be, but it should be quite high. Um, but yeah, like I said, how much did I pay for this? 452 was it? I'm pretty sure, which is £6.11 per piece. I'm going to make profit on every single piece regardless, even the thermal ones. And the fact that we normally get like 50% thermal ones, like normally I order 60 and I get 30 thermal ones, we've only got about 7 thermal ones which is amazing. So I'm so happy. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. That was a lot of talking. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's going to be over 20 minutes, I think. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let's make some profit.